Hello and welcome. Colin Powell, the first black US Secretary of State who shaped American foreign policy for nearly 20 years, has died from COVID-19 related complications. He was 84 years old. Powell was a pathbreaker serving as the USA's first black national security adviser, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Secretary of State. His was a classic American success story. Born of Jamaican immigrant parents, Powell grew up in New York and graduated from the City College. He entered the US Army after graduating in 1958 and later served two combat duties in Vietnam War during the 1960s. He stayed in the army after returning home, rising in leadership. He was promoted to brigadier general in 1979. He was later appointed as the first African American National Security Advisor to President Ronald Reagan at the end of the Cold War in 1987. In 1989, Powell was appointed to head the Joint Chiefs of Staff by the then President George Bush Sr. Colin Powell was the first African American and also the youngest chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff. Powell's popularity soared after the US victory over Iraq during the Gulf War in 1991. For a time, Colin Powell was considered a leading contender to become the first black president of the United States. Though Powell never ran for presidency and settled for the post of the US Secretary of State in George Bush administration in 2001. Colin Powell was highly respected at home and abroad, but his reputation would forever be stained when as the US Secretary of State He pushed faulty intelligence before the United Nations to advocate for the Iraq war. In February 2003, Powell delivered a speech before the United Nations in which he presented evidence that Iraq had gathered the weapons of mass destruction. The US went to war with Saddam Hussein just 6 weeks after Powell's speech. However, later the United Nations found no such weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, but the damage was already done to both Iraq and to the reputation of Colin Powell as the highly respected statesman. In his memoir, It Worked for Me, Colin Powell acknowledged that his UN speech was based on faulty evidence of Iraqi weapons of mass destruction. Powell wrote that this was my most momentous failure and that the event will earn a prominent paragraph in my obituary. Powell resigned from the Bush administration in early 2005. After leaving the government, Powell returned to private life. He joined the renowned venture capital firm Kleiner Perkins in 2005 where he worked as a strategic advisor until his death. Though Colin Powell served most of his time as a public servant in Republican administrations, in the later years of his life he became highly critical of the Republican Party's rightward tilt. In the 2008 election, Colin Powell endorsed Barack Obama. The announcement was seen as a significant boost for Obama's candidacy due to Powell's widespread popular appeal. and stature as one of the most prominent and successful black americans in public life powell supported hillary clinton in 2016 over donald trump and joe biden in 2020 colin powell embodied the highest ideals of both a soldier and a diplomat president joe biden described colin powell a path breaker and one of the most respected african american of the united states